I'm Dr. B, and yes, I'm a real ER doctor. So you may be wondering, what am I doing here in this space? Well, after years of pain from sports injuries, I listened to my doctor and had to pivot into a career that would keep me off my feet as much as possible. I also have a degree in finance, and so it was a natural transition to join Verified Investing. I'll share my prescription for becoming a successful investor right here on The Market Pulse. Welcome to The Market Pulse. I'm Dr. B here at Verified Investing. And today is going to be a very interesting episode. We're going to talk about some low cap uh, rockets that have happened in the past couple uh, weeks and months. And really it's going to be using a very simple trend line to show you when the break occurs, when the momentum is starting, and uh, really kind of a, a very safe way, safe if you will, to, uh, to trade these. Uh, so let's get to the charts. So over the past couple weeks and months, we've seen a lot of money rotate out of the large caps uh, into the you know the small caps, right? Um, I try to stay away from from the small caps in general, uh, especially the micro caps. But there are there is a lot of money to be made in the small caps, and if you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money uh, uh, very quickly. Okay, so. For example, this is a, a company here, Summit Therapeutics, one of the biggest runners today uh, in the NASDAQ, up around 60%. And you can see here that we gapped up, okay, and ran higher. Well, check this out, all right? Now, you know, sometimes what we do is we find a chart, we look for previous resistance, and we short and we dollar cost average. That's one way to do it, and we wait for this fall. Another way to do it is like this, okay? If you have a trend line here, all right, that breaks, this is a great place to short a stock. Yes, you're, you're, you're paying up, if you will, okay, compared to this level. But how did you know that this was the top? We didn't know until after the fact. So this is about a 4% difference right here. So from here to here is about 4%, 4%. So yes, we're getting into the stock 4% on the short side, uh, um, lower than where, where we could have entered. But check this out. If we enter here on a close of the red candle, okay, and then put our stop here, we're only risking 4%. Whereas down here, this was probably about a, I don't know, maybe a 6%, 8% move, let's say a 7% move. So your risk to reward ratio is about, you know, two, one to two, right? Or two to one, however you want to look at it. Okay, so that's very important to understand. And as you know, if you pull, were to pull up VWAP here, VWAP was somewhere around here. So you would have been able to, to know that this was likely an area of support. Okay, but again, I just want to point out that, you know, these simple trend lines, okay, really can help you identify when the trend is going to change. Uh, and again, there's no guarantees that once it breaks the trend line that it will change. Uh, however, it gives you a very good understanding, especially if you have a red bar close. And again, I usually work on the one minute charts. All right, I have the one minute scalpel where I teach all of my methodology using the one minute. We use it every single day in the Apex Day Trading Room. And I'm also combining that with my VWAP strategies uh, on the one minute charts. I'm coming out with a course on that in the next couple weeks. It should be out to say by October 1st. And that's really gonna incorporate a lot of institutional type analysis on, uh, you know, on where the buyers and the sellers are. So again, this is, um, this is a very uh, clear trend line that you could have used to short Summit, Summit Therapeutics today, okay? So I'm going to take a look at the next chart here, and you can see uh, this chart is Lumen, and we're looking for Lumen on July 30th. So just give me a second here. I'm gonna go back and find that. Uh, July 30th, okay. So here's the trend line. All right, let me just show you here. So here is the amazing run on Lumen on July 30th, okay? And again, 
how do we know when this is going to, to break? All right, one indication is the first, this is the first red bar here in, you know, in probably 10 candles. There was only uh, two, three red bar candles here before the top for, since, uh, let's see, about 10, 10, 15. So about 20, 25 green candles, only three red candles. This was a pretty large red candle, but that didn't tell us yet that there was a guaranteed uh, or, an, or a, a very high likelihood of a fall. This wasn't really even a reversal candle. It was close, all right? Uh, engulfing reversal would have been better, but it didn't really tell us yet, hey, there's, there's really a change in momentum. It was, a bit, it was the biggest red candle of the day so far, but again, this break of this trend line and the close below that trend line was crucial. Okay, you could have, again, you could have entered a position right here, put your stop loss right here, you're only risking this much, you know the stock has gone up this much, and you're likely to make a nice profit when this falls and taking profit somewhere in here, depending on where VWAP is or other pivot lows are. Uh, again, it's not a perfect strategy, but it's a very simple way by using one trend line here, one trend line to help in your trading. That's really all you need. If you can master this technique, you never need to work again in, in, in your life, right? Because you could just short these and go long. By the way, this is an upsloping trend line. This also works for downsloping trend lines, okay? I'll show you that on one of the next slides on one of the next charts. Uh, ASTS, this is another uh, stock here that has, has made an am amazing run in recent uh, recent months, actually back in May, let me go back to that chart. So you can see here, actually this was August, this was August, excuse me. So again, you see ASTS on the one minute chart had an amazing run here. And you can see very clearly where these pivots are, okay? Let me just pop this on, all right? So you have a strong stock on the day, and you have this pivot low here, pivot low, pivot low, pivot low, right? And finally, you break this. By the way, on about the fifth hit of a, of a line, that's typically when you have a break, all right? Fourth or fifth hit. Uh, the more hits you have, the higher probability that is going to break. So again, where would we short here? We look for a red candle close below that line, enter here, put our stop here, a little bit above here, and then wait for the fall, all right? This was a move from about $30 up to almost $40, about 20% move. And, you know, let's say that you risked about, uh, I don't know, five, let's say 5%, whereas this, this had about 20% to fall. Let's say you take profits here at 10%, right? So 10%, so what's your risk to reward ratio? Again, it's one to two, all right? One risk, two reward. And that gives you a very high probability of success, especially when you get this break of the trend line. Why is the break of the trend line so important? It's important because it's a psychological change in the traders uh, who are trading this stock. People start to see this and they say, whoa, time to take profits, I'm getting out. Or for people who, took, who bought up here, they see this break of the trend line, they say, oh no, look at how far I have to fall. I'm getting out and you have a huge amount of selling right there on the break of the trend line. And Lawton is gonna show us one of the stocks that he traded recently with a trend line that broke, right Lawton? Good Definitely. to see you. Awesome. Hey guys, how's it going? So by the way, Lawton's a new trader here in the office. Uh, he's learning from myself, from Gareth, from Ben and Drew every day and he's actually a pretty quick study. Uh, he's, he's taught me a couple things and, um, you know, he's going to teach you guys a couple things right now. What are we looking at? I'll do at? my best. Let's go to Palantir here. Okay. On this one minute. And what, let's look at today. What day? Oh, today. Today, today is okay. fine. So. Right about here? Yep. So, unlike, unlike Dr. B's ASTS trade, um, my trade was a little more, a little different. I wasn't looking for as much, and I want to make sure that we yeah. that it's the right one here. Yep. Okay. So for Here's me, your pen. oh, thank you. So for me, 
I wasn't looking for much because the stock doesn't move as much as an ASTS or any of these other, you know, low small caps, mm -hmm. right? But I drew kind of a trend line myself. I saw this to here, then all the way up to here. Nice. Right. And this line is not the best, but um, I'm not sure where it should end up. I think it's somewhere around here. But... I was tracking this line. I saw how it bounced, and I saw okay, this is there's potential here for another um, hit of it. That that might be it. That might be it. So let's let me redo this. Okay, so I think this was the this trend. is the trend line that I would draw. But show us the one that you drew, just so we we have a comparison. I think the one I drew is similar. It just started from here instead, mm -hmm. and it went somewhere like something like that. Okay. Okay. But. What I saw is I saw, okay, I saw this candle, it's piercing, this didn't reclaim this, and then I shorted it right away. And although it didn't move 20%, like Dr. B said, this move here was like 1.5%, you know? Yeah, and this is, nice. you know, you count this, it's like, like, I don't know, like six, seven, eight minutes mm -hmm. for a 1.5% gain. Like, I'll take that every day of the Pretty week. Pretty good, of course. Now, where did you, did you put a stop in? Yeah, so what I did is I first put a stop at uh, the break of this trend line a little bit higher because sometimes it likes to re retest it, pierce it uh, before pulling back. Mm. So then as it started moving In down. In other words, so it could pierce it, take out your stop, right, and then and then reverse. So then I just left it alone. So okay. I let it do its thing. It kept going, kept going, kept going. And I was like, okay, well... Where should I put my next stop? Like, when should I start moving it? Because something I also learned that, let's say I kept moving it exactly, I would have been taken out right here. Oops. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. If I kept moving it down, I would have been taken out right here, you know, when it popped back up. But I left it, and I was a little more patient, and I think I stopped out somewhere around here. So not the perfect exit, but still around a 1% gain. Awesome. A little bit more. Yeah, and one of the ways, by the, by the way, Lawton, to, to kind of mitigate that is you look for, and it's, it's kind of tough here because these pivots aren't aren't the clearest. What you do is you look for the next pivot, the next pivot point, right? Here's a pivot point on the chart. This is a pivot point. This is a pivot point. Okay, so you can move your stop, say from from here, uh, or no, you were you were your stop was where? Uh, my stop, my stop was was somewhere up here. Yeah, gotcha, because your line was was yep. over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can move your stop here. Move your stop here, and eventually this will be taken out. And by the way, just so you know, there is a trend line right here. Mm -hmm. And look at that. When that it broke, broke that went up. Right? You can you can enter here on the green close, put your stop here. The beautiful thing that of the break of a trend line does is it gives you again the momentum. It tells you when the momentum is likely changing. And what's the second thing it does? It gives you a stop. Mm. Right? It gives you a stop. Now. Going back to my to my trend line here, one of the things I like to to do is find other corroborating evidence, right, that tells me, hey, this is the right trend line. Now, Lawton drew a trend line from here to here. I tend to draw it from the extremes here. It's not always perfect, doesn't always work, but again, this pivot low, this pivot low. What do you see right here, Lawton? You see this huge red candle on a close? Yep. Then what do you see? Huge green candle. Huge green candle with a retrace and the price riding along this area before the final break. Mm -hmm. So that tells me this is probably the correct trend line. Um, and again, it can work. It can work either way. The idea is that you have a stock that's up big on the day, starting to break a general trend line area. The safest thing to do in terms of stops are putting above these pivot highs. Okay. And the reason I say that is, let's say I put a stop right here. Okay, oftentimes you can have these wicks, right? These big wicks that take you out and then they reverse. And mm. once you've taken this loss here, you're hesitant to get back in. Now, once you become a, a pro trader, you know, you don't get attached to that emotionally and you just click the button and get in when you know uh, it's, it's likely to, to reverse. Um, but if you put a stop here, the idea is you put, you're putting a stop where the pattern is invalidated. If the stock starts to break out and break out higher here, you know that this was probably more likely a ascending triangle pattern or a bull flag, and now this trend line is negated, 
Mm. Right. So it's just, you know, a lot of different nuances in, in the markets. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I'll let you get to it, Dr. B. Hey, hey, thanks a lot for, sure. for coming by. Thanks right. for having me, guys. Okay. So uh, very good. I'll show you now uh, one more uh, trend line here that I found. And again, this works on all time frames. Uh, let me pull up August 20th on LUNR, so you can see here that LUNR uh, had a big fall here on the one minute chart, right around market open, and then you were putting in this downsloping uh, price action. Here's your downsloping price action, and you can see we created this nice downsloping line. Here is the green close above that, above that uh, trend line. You could have bought here, Put your stop here, and then you had all of this upside. There's probably some resistance here, and there you go. See this resistance point here and here? It's exactly where it went to. And again, you're unlikely to catch the lows, and you're unlikely to catch the highs, but this is where you want to focus on. You want to try to make money in the middle, and uh, that way you're not getting greedy. You're using, you're thinking in probabilities, using very simple tactics here you can use this on anything stocks crypto commodity you know real estate whatever it is um, anything that can be charted and it really is a, a very uh, effective way of trading so i hope you enjoyed that uh, episode again this simple trend line strategy i try to give simple concepts so that that beginner to advanced traders can use these and sometimes, you know, even as an advanced trader, you know, you get into all these different techniques and you come back to these simple strategies that really work. Sometimes you need to be reminded of these and uh, go back to the drawing board and, and readjusting your strategy to get that higher percentage win rate, that higher safety uh, rate, um, you know, so that you, you can minimize your losses and maximize your gains. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, again, the one minute scalpel, uh, is an awesome course that I teach uh, using these these awesome patterns that I found that are highly effective on the one minute charts. We use them every day in the Apex Day Trading Room. Uh, I'm coming out with a VWAP course very soon. Uh, this is based on you know institutional type uh, knowledge and analysis. And uh, you know if you haven't seen the Market Pulse episodes that I've taught, there's so much information. I think we're up to our 30th episode at this point. So much information over the last year. Go back, start from the beginning, watch those episodes. Tune in, go to verifiedinvesting.com, and you'll be able to see all of the different uh, knowledge and uh, courses that we have to help get you up to speed uh, trading and investing in the stock market. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Take care.